Oh, I just did. Water has two hydrogen bonds. So we're going to look at how the difference in just that, having one versus having two, changes the way something behaves. Can I ask the students a question? Go for it. What hydrogen bond do you think water has? Do you think it has hydrogen to nitrogen, hydrogen to oxygen, or hydrogen to uh, uh, Fluorine, yep. You guys know? Yeah, where does it go? That's correct. H2O, yeah. Right, just a little check to see if we're following. All right. So, guys, um, because I'm going to show you something right here in front of me, you might want to switch so you've pinned. Just, just for right now, to make the screen a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think they can see it either yeah, way. But they pin it. Yeah. Yep. So when you uh, move your cursor over Miss Steele's screen, there's like a little push pin button. There's a mute button. Oh no, they just have the push pin. Click on the pin, the push pin, and then that will make Miss Steele's screen bigger than mine. All right. And for you guys who are here in the classroom, right? So Jalen and Jordan, you guys have one beaker where there's almost nothing in it. You see that beaker? No, Jalen. We do. Jalen, you see the beaker that's got not much in it? Hey, Jalen. You're do you, gonna do, uh, do you see the beaker wow. that doesn't have very much stuff in it? That one is the ethanol. And we're going to see how many drops of ethanol you can get on the top of that penny before it slides off the side. Right? So, like, as soon as it goes over the top of the penny, then we stop counting. So for everybody who's at home, we're going to count the number of drops of ethanol that will fit on top of this penny. So one, two, we didn't make any guesses. And once it like, yeah, no. flows over the top and it's not on the penny anymore, then we stop counting. Okay, hey, thanks for guessing people in the chat. It can. This is the ethanol. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it's filling up the sides. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, and it's gone over on one edge. 18. So, 18. I got 19. I got 19. I think it's spilled over. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. I also got, well, I got to 21. I think Jalen might be, no, Jordan might be gone. Jordan didn't guess he's like doing it on his own. So, Miss Steele, you got how many? 21. 21, so I'm going to write that down here. Yep. Jordan, what did you get? 24. 24. And you're using the ethanol, right? Like the one where you got not much in it? Okay. And Jalen got. Did you say 14, Jalen? Jalen got 14. All right. So, just like Miss Noel, on your slide, you should be able to put a number on there. For the ethanol? Whoa, you must be really carefully dropping them on there. Okay, so 
starting at 31? Ethanol does have hydrogen bonds, so it will hold together. It has like surface tension. It's only got one hydrogen bond though, and we're going to take a look at what happens if we've got something that has two. Ethanol has one hydrogen bond. Yes. Oh. Ethanol's only got one OH. One OH, but water has two. So H2O. So we got 21 for ethanol. What is your guess for water? How many water drops do you guys think the penny will hold? Half of it? So like 16 for you? Okay. Oh, we got some people doubling and some people dividing. All right. Well, Marcus, Marcelo, Matthew, Camilla, Emily, Kat. Norman, Pat Singh, make a guess. Jalen, what do you think? How many, how much water? You did it? Okay, don't tell me. <laughs> Hopefully they can't hear you. Okay, Norman says 28. Let's, let's give it a shot. So the difference is having one hydrogen bond versus having Two. I did get a new penny so there wasn't anything on it. It works just as well to just dry your penny. Okay, so can we see the penny okay? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, oh, 41. And look, it all came off together. It did. Okay. It what did you say spilled in a very different way. Get out of town. <laughs> I believe you. I've, I've had students get very, like, very high numbers. I got 41. You pretty much had double. Just about double. Jordan's about to get double. You're consistent. Mm-hmm. If you guys wanted to try it, it does work almost as well if you just like use the your finger to like pick up drops. So like if you have a penny and you can get a glass of water for um, observations or the viscosity. We'll talk about viscosity in a second. First of all, there is something in this beaker. I went back to one of the Bunsen burner gas jets and I filled this beaker up with methane. Methane is what we use to light the burners. So even though you can't see it, what's in here? Solid liquid or gas? Somebody want to drop it into the chat? Methane, is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? I'm showing you methane right now. Inside of this Erlenmeyer flask. Yes. Yes, Norman, thank you. That's awesome. So, methane is a gas. Methane is a gas. And if we go back to our last slide, let's take a look at the 
You got it. So how many carbons are in methane? Do you see the formula? CH4? How many carbons? Felicia, how many carbons are in methane? If somebody wants to jump in before her, if you can know it. Jordan, I just saw you join the meet, so you can you can throw your answer in there. Oh, you can't see it. So Miss Noel is showing the formula right now. Is it four? It looked like a four. Jordan got there before you. There is one carbon in methane, CH4. So just one carbon. So in our list, we're just gonna put down a one. So when we only have one carbon, the forces that are there are not strong enough to hold it together as a liquid, right? If those molecules bump into each other, they just bump away because they're not held together tightly when there's only one carbon. The viscosity, viscosity has to do with something being a liquid. So we would say there's no viscosity. Or you can write down that it's a gas. Either of those things would be fine. All right. Um, could you scroll back over so that they can see the whole Okay, so that's the first one. We looked at methane. It's a gas. It only has one carbon. And because they don't stick together, it has no viscosity. Everybody should now have that whole first row filled in on your slide, on slide six. Is that the right number or is it five? Slide five. Sorry, slide five. So let's go on to the next one. The next one on our list is butane. Butane. Cool. Oh, <laughs> that's very big. All right. So butane, is this a solid, a liquid, or a gas? I think we can all agree. So you guys should be filling in that little box for state of matter for butane. Anybody know where you've heard of butane before? Because this is one that you might have encountered. You know what you use it for? Has anybody ever filled up like a reusable lighter? Oh, somebody said Felicia got it. It's lighter fluid, lighter fluid. So like you can buy those like, like Zippo lighters. And if you get a nicer one, then you can actually like unscrew it and fill it back up. But that's what this is, butane. Would we say, um, oops, sorry, let's go back and do the carbons. So how many carbons does butane have? Well, it is a little blurry, but they should be able to. Oh, Jordan, throwing shade in the comment section. It's not cool. He likes to have <laughs> Stars got it. Four. So butane has four carbons, 
And by adding those extra carbons, right, we've gone from being a gas to being a liquid. So there are four carbons for butane. Miss Noel is making hers big so that everyone can take it. You guys don't have to make yours as pretty as she's making. You need to take the time to do that. I'm just doing it so you all can see. Don't worry about it. So viscosity has to do with how fast or how slow a liquid moves. A lot of times we'll use words like thin or thick to describe um, something's viscosity. Would we say that this is a liquid that is moving around very fast or very slow? Is this a thin liquid or is it a thick liquid? Jordan's saying it's pretty thin. It looks thick. What would you say? Does that mean it has low? It has a low viscosity, yep. So the words fast or thin, those indicate that something has a low viscosity. That means that the molecules have bumped into each other and they stuck. But if I took the lid off of this, it would immediately turn back into a gas and the whole thing would evaporate really quickly. It's actually why I'm leaving it away from my desk, because if I sit here, even though it's got this little seal on it, I think the gas particles are escaping, so I don't really want to breathe them in. So we're going to go put this away. That was our butane. Okay. Um, let's go back up and see what the next, the next, two are so we have pentane and hexane i don't have any pentane here there's no chemical like purpose for it in school so i don't have a sample but i do have hexane and i have seen it before they look and act just the same so we're going to fill in both pentane and hexane right now together the difference between them is one has five and one has six. Okay, so pentane would be first. You could copy and paste your text boxes where you wouldn't have to change everything. and hexane. So we've got pentane and we have hexane. All right, let me show you the sample. This one is hexane. So this is our sample of hexane. This is a nonpolar liquid and you guys can see kind of how quickly it moves. We have to keep it in the flammables cabinet along with the lighter fluid. So we just showed you the formulas and we'll type them in here. Pentane is also a liquid. So think of math class two in math, a pentagon mm -hmm. has five means five, a pentagon has five sides, a hexagon has six sides. You can probably even copy and paste what you put in for those other. It doesn't look that much different. Right, it's still a pretty fast moving liquid. It's thin. 
it's gone from being a gas to a liquid, but it's still a really thin liquid. For you guys who are typing at home, you don't have to have all three of those things in there either. You could just say it's fast or slow. You'd say it's thin or thick, or you could say it's got low viscosity or high viscosity. Go put that one back. I think we'll get through all these carbon to hydrogen bonds and then we'll switch over to, we'll do the other part next time. If that's, um, and maybe give everybody a little time for a break in between two if we need to. Okay. Okay, um, back up to that other slide one more time. So the next one, yeah, I know, they're frustrating. So we're taking a big jump. We went from one to four to five to six. And now we're looking at mineral oil. How many carbons does mineral oil have? You guys see it? Hard. It is a little bit blurry. Oh, that means approximate. So it means some of them could have a little bit more and some of them could have a little bit less, but most of them, yeah, have roughly. This whole number. I know it is a little blurry. Can anybody? It's a good guess. 18. We're having trouble seeing it. 18. Yeah. So we're going to type in there that it's mineral oil. The oil? Is that like naturally occurring? Um, it's a byproduct of petroleum. It's like when they make gas, there's a whole bunch of like things that are byproducts and mineral oil is one of the byproducts of it. You use it a lot in like, um, there's a lot of applications in art where you use mineral oil for stuff, for like as a solvent. All right, so when we add, like 12 more carbons, then all of a sudden our liquid goes from being really, really thin to, you guys see that it moves a little bit differently? Right, it's getting a little bit thicker. So it's not quite as fast moving around in there. You want some kind of description for that, that it's thicker or slower, more viscous. And we've got one more, and then I think we're going to take a break after this last one. And we'll leave it so that people can get themselves caught up if you need to. Okay, so that's our mineral oil. What is the last one, Miss Noel? Paraffin wax. Can you read that number? Can anybody guess or see that one enough to put it in the chat? How many carbons are in paraffin wax? Because it's all just carbons and hydrogens, but how many carbons are there? Marcus, Matthew, can either of you see that well enough to drop it in the chat? I shouldn't have said two names. I should have only said one name. Now Marcus is waiting for Matthew, and Matthew's waiting for Marcus. Oh, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, yes, 24. 
So when we add on, what is that, six more carbons? And this is what we get. So. And so like paraffin wax, right? I'm sure, I'm sure that if one of you was here, you could probably bend it or break it. So what state of matter is that wax, that muscular shine? Solid liquid or gas, guys. That is a solid. It's not like a super, super strong solid because like my fingernail can make scratches on it and stuff. But it is for sure a solid. That would be this thick with two C's. Um <laughs> 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 but but it's actually not viscous because it can't move. Oh. Well, so yeah. Um so are fats and oils then those are hydrogen bonds? Yes. Yeah. The the things that make like oil. Olive oil, um, yeah, if you say something is high. Is there a connection with nutrition then? Like why yeah. fat's so hard to break down? Um, Compared to like the, carbs or? Right, well, so the connection is like, you can get like, like the difference between like margarine and butter. You sure. can get things that are like hydrogenated. Sure. And so then they actually just like put them through this thing that like adds hydrogen chains onto them. And the more hydrogens you add on, the more it becomes a solid. So it's connected in like the, the, the cooking side. Yeah, so the molecule. Like the I'd have or to like look at that. Because like it that would energy. have more energy because there's more bonds to break down. Mm -hmm. it was, so. And it takes more energy to break them down compared to like the sugar. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I need to go it's a bot. look more. It's all right. Look more at it. I know my questions like like not, like things are more complicated than I think. But for yeah. sure, if you're talking about like like a cooking oil versus like a butter, sure, yeah. Things that are have a lot of hydrogen in them yeah. tend to be more like solid. And that like changes how your food works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Cool. All so right, I'll guys. Put this bag up here. So we're going to take a break for about 10 minutes. So 10.47. And when we come back, we're going to watch The Martian. So you guys will have to remind me of what spot we left off at. We might take just like two seconds to talk about like what we saw last time. Um, maybe somebody can give Miss Noel a little recap.